I've had some of these、uh, artifact kits lying around for a while now, and、uh, I've just never really had the courage to actually finish one. But since I'm having more of you guys watching these videos now, I gotta kick the content up a notch. So、uh, here it is, the full armor Gundam from the second artifact drop. These have been、uh, all over the place lately. You can find them in、uh, all sorts of retailers like Hobby Lobby, and、uh, as tiny as they are, they have almost garage kit level details and、uh, feature very、uh, realistic redesigns. They make、uh, great little desktop displays,、uh, even greater painted, and、uh, I've seen creative usages from modelers using these for all sorts of little dioramas. So definitely worth the money. The entire build process only took a couple of minutes.、Uh, part separation is pretty much non-existent, but that's to be expected for、uh, something this scale. In any case, we have an important decision to make as how to paint these. Obviously, you can treat these like a Warhammer mini and、uh, paint it by hand, which would be much easier. But when it comes to Mecha, having visible brush strokes just can really take you out of that immersion compared to、uh, cloth textures. So, I'm going to choose to torture myself by、uh, airbrushing these, at least for the most part. Most of the work done here is actually before the painting. Just about every part of the kit here is a simple left-right snap, leaving seam lines down the middle everywhere. So we gotta deal with、uh, all of those. The parts don't really match up too well on these, so I'm going to use uh, just uh, black super glue for seam line.、Uh, that way, I have enough excess、uh, glue on the outside to work with. Basically, I'm painting the edges of every part with super glue.、Uh, seal、uh, two sides shut as much as you can, and now you have a whole lot of super glue blobs to shape down. For、uh, ease of、uh, seam line removals, I'm going to also modify some of these parts. So, say for example, this、uh, arm part is now going to just、uh, clip into the shoulder part, so I can do the seam line removals on each individually. Since these parts are really small, in most cases, the traditional sanding board technique wouldn't really work. So, here's a quick tip: you can actually use the wider chisel blades、uh, to sand. Uh, here I have a three millimeter wide blade, and I'm just scraping through the, these smaller surfaces as sanding. Or、uh, in some cases,、uh, in these creases, I'm just using the blade to cut off、uh, excess bits of glue. So with all that done, we have to talk about the details. The details here look great, but the injection molding is a bit fuzzy, meaning that、uh, some of these panel lines aren't too clear. If we were to paint the kit as is, then、uh, when we paint the panel lines. Paint wouldn't be able to flow through all the panel lines since some of them aren't deep enough. So we have to go over all of them with a thin chisel. This is by far the most painful part of the entire build. A lot of these lines are very hard to see without a magnifying glass, which I don't have one.、Uh, the only tool I have in my arsenal is just to、uh, look really hard. Next up, I'm priming the entire thing to check for imperfections. You are theoretically supposed to do this to every build ever, which、uh, I never do.、Uh, I just fix mistakes as I paint the parts. But in this case, since these parts are so tiny and I could barely even see the details when I was working on it,、uh, gotta double check before I start painting. So after a few rounds of back and forth, I think it's looking pretty clean. So let's get to painting. I'm going with the standard olive green and orange paint scheme on this, and、uh, I'm going to try to mask as many details as I can without going insane. I got a fresh blade for optimal tape cutting.、Uh, for most of the masking, I'm cutting right onto the part, and for some of these more angled details, I'm using little bits of tape to fill in the entire shape. Masking is one of those topics that you would think is pretty straightforward, but、uh, there are some specific techniques you can utilize. Maybe that's another quick、uh, technique episode. For some of these little metallic details, I'm using the、uh, acrylic paint wiping technique, where I wipe away acrylic paint, so the lacquer paints underneath will show up. 
I'm also going to uh, hand paint bits of red details as uh, we're just getting into diminished uh, return territory here to uh, mask these. After everything is painted, we can confidently paint the panel lines since we know that all of them are deep enough. There aren't a whole lot of large uh, empty spaces for decals, so I just have a few going here. One last coat of matte clear and uh, we're done. That's it for my first uh, Gundam artifact. Uh, the process was surprisingly very enjoyable, definitely a lot easier than I initially expected. My eyes do hurt though, so uh, I'm probably not going to touch another one of these uh, in a while. Anyways, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, I got more of these coming. I'll see you guys next time.